Was this a dirty play by Jordan Poole as John ja Moran appeared to suffer a right knee injury earlier tonight in game three? Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter. In this video, we're gonna talk about the grab. Of course, Grizzlies fans are upset, claiming that this appeared to be a dirty play by Jordan Poole. What we're gonna do in this video is take a look at what exactly happened here and just talk about the biomechanics of the knees to give my perspective on this whole situation. Right off the bat, I do not at all think this is a dirty play. Now, whether or not this was a play where Morant might have tweaked the knee or been a little bit more injured, that's up for debate and we'll talk about it in a minute because there's another play where he might have injured the knee at a different time. But number one, I don't care how good Jordan Poole is, his brain does not process quickly enough to make the transition from this point in the sequence where he initially is clearly going for the ball to then in a split second change his plan and physically think that, hey, I'm going to grab Morant's knee and I'm going to pull his knee with the intent of injuring him. Now there's no denying from the video here that certainly Poole does make contact with Morant's knee and it seems like Morant's knee does move outwards a little bit. But what we'll talk about is this is not nearly a high enough level of force to cause a significant injury to a ligament within the knee. If we back this whole sequence up, the moment here where there's this incidental contact to Morant's leg from Poole, which nobody would argue that this was not just incidental, this is gonna cause more force on the knee that would potentially cause an injury compared to that subsequent pull that we saw happen later on. In this position here, Morant's foot is fixed on the floor, his knee is in a sort of semi-flexed position, and Poole's body weight coming in on the outside of his knee causing Morant's leg to go inward a little bit is going to put some actual stress potentially on the inner ligaments of the knee. It's also going to cause the kneecap to wanna to have a tendency to come outwards a little bit. So this whole part of the sequence in my mind would actually be more likely within this specific play to have caused any potential injury, but completely incidental. If we look at it from this angle, it's even more implausible to think that number one, this was intentional and a dirty play and number two would actually cause enough force to result in a major injury. Here as Poole's right arm comes in, you can see, yes, he certainly does make contact with the front of John Morant's knee. But then you can see here, there's not really anything that he's actually able to grab on. Like if anything, he's going to be just grabbing the patellar tendon in the front of his knee. He doesn't have a big enough grip to actually force the knee outward to result in any sort of significant injury. His fingers are barely grasping on there, and so there is in no way enough force from this grab to result in a major ligament or knee injury, in my opinion. We'll dive a little bit more into the biomechanics of why this is even less plausible and talk about what actually might be wrong with Morant's knee, but first I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. I'm excited to talk with you all about the sponsor of today's video, Seed. Seed's Daily Symbiotic is a pre and probiotic two-in-one capsule that supports your gut health, skin health, and so much more. Seed's scientific rigor and quality is second to none in this space, and simply put, they're setting a new standard for probiotics. It contains 24 clinically and scientifically studied strains, and it's refreshing to see how transparent they are, putting all the data and information out there for you to access and read on their website. Add to that their impressive quality control and testing, and this is a company and product that I'm happy to be behind. It's got this really cool two-in-one capsule design with the pre and probiotic, so you can be more confident that it's actually making it through the entirety of your digestive system to get where it's actually needed in your gut. I've been taking seed for just over the past month, and in general, I feel like I'm more regular, my skin seems to be looking better, and overall, my body just feels great. Get 15% off your first month's supply of Seeds Daily Symbiotic by clicking the link down in the description below and using code BRIANMD at checkout. Your first month, you're going to get this slick, reusable glass container, and the packaging materials initially and in subsequent months are recyclable and sustainable for the environment. If you have any questions about if a probiotic is right for you, then be sure and speak with your own healthcare provider. So do something to both support your body and help support this channel by checking out Seed today. Thank you again to Seed for sponsoring this video and let's get back to our learning. The next thing I wanna point out here is this was the sequence where we saw Morant rubbing his knee. And look and see where he's rubbing. He's rubbing more on the inside of his knee where these medial structures live as opposed to the outside of his knee. Now in this position, his patellar tendon is gonna be right around in this area, his MCL is gonna be here on the inside, LCL on the outside, and of course quad muscle up top. So the fact that he's rubbing on the inside of his knee to me suggests that his pain is on the inside of his knee. In this position, when Poole goes to grab his leg, what that's going to do is it's actually going to stress the structures on the outside of Morant's knee because he's imparting what we call a varus load. Varus meaning the leg is going out in this direction. So the area where jaw is pushing on his knee, presumably in pain, is the opposite side of the knee from where we would expect to see an injury 
if this supposed grab from Poole had been enough to cause that trauma. It's also important to realize that whenever we examine these structures in the clinic, we are putting a lot of stress on these ligaments. And so by this account, if that's enough to cause something like an MCL sprain, I would be injuring everybody's MCL in clinic whenever I do my physical exam because we put a pretty high amount of load through the ligaments to try and test their integrity. The last part of this, clearly Morant was in some pain. So let's talk about what exactly might be causing that pain. The first thing here, I mentioned he was grabbing the inside of his knee. He was grabbing kind of around the area where the kneecap is anchored into the bone. And certainly this impact here from Poole, the incidental contact into the outside of Morant's leg, could cause that knee to go inward into a little bit of valgus that might cause some force in the patella to want to sublux out of place. It's possible that could be one thing on the differential for what Morant is experiencing, maybe a little shift of the kneecap within its groove. Also think about a tweak to the meniscus, of course the cartilage that sits inside the knee. We know Morant had been dealing with knee issues before coming into the playoffs, and so if there was some underlying irritation or injury there, this little bit of contact could be of enough to basically make that potentially worse. There was also this sequence just earlier in the game where Morant goes to close out on Thompson and appears to basically strike that right knee either on maybe the forearm or sort of potentially the lower leg of Thompson, and so clearly a time when Morant had some direct trauma to the knee that could have potentially been when he tweaked things as well. So bottom line here, yes, Morant seems to have tweaked his knee in some way or another. It's not 100% clear exactly what the mechanism was, but just based on the way the footage looks, basic biomechanics of strength of these different tissues, I don't see how we can consider what Jordan Poole did a dirty play or necessarily even the moment when the knee was injured, specifically talking about that light little tug. If anything, the moment where Poole's knee made contact before that pull, I could see that potentially playing into the injury, but we gotta stop thinking that this was some sort of dirty play where he intentionally grabbed his knee and injured his knee. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below, Grizzlies fans included. And until next time, we'll see you later.